For years and years and years, there's no right way to do something. Everybody keeps moving the goalposts. We sit here trying to kneel and protest and everything like that silently. Oh, that's wrong. We're disrespecting something. If we if we try to do it politically or something like that, we get ignored. People are in a position of desperation. This is a position of desperation. You are all held accountable. If one person, if one person here is bad. change something for my younger siblings and the next generation and the next generation because no one should have to go through this again. I look at Sandra Bland and I see myself. I look at Breonna Taylor. I see myself. Atatiana Jefferson. I see myself. So it's very important that we say their names and that people realize that it's just not George Floyd that we are fighting for. We are still crying the tears of Emmett Till. The reason I took a knee was to start bringing about peace and unity and healing between members of, of the police department and members of the community. Real talk, I respect your right to protest. All I'm asking for y'all to do it in peace. I kneel with y'all because I don't, I don't agree with what happened and I, I, I listen, y'all are all my brothers and sisters. We all like read in the newspaper that COVID is disproportionately affecting communities of color and it is so in your face in the ICU. Our system is just as broken as the law enforcement system and we have to fix that too. I think anti-blackness is something deeply rooted in the Asian American community, particularly Asian Americans who live in towns like these, who benefit a lot from class privilege and from elite education, higher education. There's ways that we can resist constructively. Uh, I'm not a fan of looting in our own communities that have already been divested from for too long, but I, I understand that the deal is simple. You know, you stop killing us and we'll stop protesting the institutional murder and oppression of black people by authority. Hands together! Hands together! Hands together! Hands together! There is a real issue in this country. This is just not the way you solve it. You don't solve it with violence. Violence begets violence. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. We're here to work for peace.